everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Danny Shore Fishing. We are currently fishing at South East Warmer and I hope you're all having a brilliant day and I know it's been quite a while since me and Dad have been fishing but we've been trying to but there's been a lot of plans so we've not been able to but if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification so whenever we put up a video you always get an, e an email or a like, flash and yeah I just hope you're all having a good day I've got my trusty gloves on and all my tracksuits and stuff as well as my boots just to keep myself all warm so whenever you're going fishing make sure you're all warm and yeah me and dad all have the cooking stuff as you saw in like the intro bit dad's just casted out both of his rods so yeah I hope you have a great day and stay warm if you're going fishing well good morning everyone welcome to Danny's Shore Fishing um, today is Saturday the 28th of January 2022 and you join me on the southeast coast of Kent and today we're down at uh, Woolmer which is just down from Steel now, um, sorry if I'm shouting a little bit, it's 20 mile hour winds behind me. I'm trying to shield you from the wind, so I'm hoping you can hear me alright. We've got the roar of the waves as well. I know Amy's done a little intro, but I thought I'd do another one just in case Amy's is deleted. Um, yeah, we come down to warm up today. I said I'd come daytime for a change so I need to come with us although it's now about 10 in the morning our time was half past 8 which is when we pretty much got here um, and I did make a boo-boo I um, sorted out my flatty rigs and uh, my flat two and three flappers last night in my rig wallet and um, I can't find my rig wallet, so I think it's still sitting on the side in the garage. All I've got with me is uh, pulley rigs and pulley droppers and up and overs and whatever. I think I've got one flapper rig in me in me box, a bit tangled up, so I might untangle that in a bit. Got a variety of baits, fluids, squid, uh, mussels. Uh, what else have got there? We've got some cuttlefish as well. Been in the uh, freezer for a while. But it has been pretty quiet. I've had to swap my weights over to um, grip a ledge, which I don't overly like using. But the tide pool down here is pretty fierce at the moment. And there's fairly deep water here, so by the time I cast to the right by the time it's on the ground it's, it's moved round 30 foot but uh, the sun is shining as you can see it's quite a steep shingle bit behind me which um, just hazards the casting a little bit it's, uh, not a great deal of room for an off the ground cast for anything like that it's pretty much overhead thump at the moment until it goes out a little bit more so I'm not out at any huge distance at the moment but I've got a bit of squid with, um, filled with lugworm on one at the moment and I've got some bluey and mussels on the other but they have been pretty quiet so uh, I'm not expecting a fantastic day as I never do during the day, that's why I tend to do night fishing. But I'll have you, I'll give you a bit of a spin round. Pretty quiet, there's no one else here fishing. There are a lot of joggers around this morning but no one daft enough to be fishing in these winds. 
started on the cooking already. Jaime's already had some mac and cheese. About a cup of coffee. But um, yes, yeah, so it might be more of a cooking video today than fishing. But it's early days yet. I'm gonna move I'm gonna leave the shelter up there where it is, but I'm gonna move my seat down towards the rods. Stay closer to the water. And uh, hopefully we'll have something, if not some white end perhaps some uh, dogfish or anything really. After the last couple of weeks I've had, I've had I'll have to take anything at the moment. But, uh, dare I say it, but the wind seems to be dropping off a little bit. It's um, a bit of a shame really because it's forecast no winds at all tomorrow. I can't actually come tomorrow, else I would have left the other day. So we're going to fight up with the wind. We're going to have a good day. We're going to have a play about on this, on the, I nearly said sand then, on the shingle. And, uh, I'm just going to strip off and go for a swim later. No, I'm not. Oh, you're not? Oh, well, right. Well, maybe not then. No, we'll do that. Yeah, that's me for now. Morning, Vernon. As always. And Shane, watch your video the other day, Shane. While you're fishing with Vernon Scott. Fantastic. When you had um, right at the end, when you got Vern sticking his head over the groin and having a chat. For a minute, I felt like there was people behind there. Doing him like a puppet. That was brilliant. Lovely to see you, Sweet together again that's always great to watch and some nice fish as well for uh, uh, Shane sorry yeah so good night you had there chat all right well uh, I'll update you in a bit well there we go then off the back just a small dog, a tiny little one. But um, yeah, saved your plank. Good old dogfish, better than a whiting. So um, yeah, I'm pleased with that. We'll get him back, and hopefully we'll get some more. Well, morning all. A little update. Um, main reason for the update is that the wind just picked the camera up it down the shingle. Um, well, I'll mainly turn it on and make sure it still works. But it all looks okay. So uh, hopefully uh, there won't be a problem with it. Um, also, I've got my rig wallet. What I've got, what I tend to do, I can't move you too far away because the wind's gonna be on you. Um, I normally have a rig wallet full of um, pulley rigs and pulley droppers and up and overs and all sorts and I've got another one full of flapper rigs and I would say most of the flapper rigs that I make I do make them in mind that um, that you want to catch a place rather than a whiting so I do tend to make them all in mind of Play fishing really, with little beads and little hooks and what have you. Uh, but like I mentioned earlier, I'm pretty sure I've left that in the garage. It's not in a van, I've had a look. Um, and I didn't think I had any. The other thing I use a lot is the wig winders. Now I think these are great. But I tend to use these if I'm tar targeting something. Um, and what I mean by that is my rig wallets tend to sit in the garage with my box and if I'm going conga fishing for argument's sake I'll make a few conga rigs up and put them on the rig winders um, ready to use when I get to where I'm going or if I'm doing single pop-up rigs or anything like that if I'm looking for bass or whatever it might be that's when I tend to use the rig winders but what I had forgotten 
staring me in the face and it sits in one of my trays is I've also got one of these that holds these holds quite a few um, and um, I just for whatever reason looked past that earlier on and didn't even register I just noticed it again and picked it up and thought well, I couldn't remember what was in it I've got a few flatty rigs in there, so I'll, uh, I've got one out ready. I'm going to bait it up in a minute and uh, fire some flatty rigs. The, um, the water's gone out a bit further now. I'll spin around so you can see, hopefully. Just starting to get on the bottom bottom ledge so um, I might be able to get down there a bit closer and uh, cast it out a bit better these um, steep shingle bank, uh, banks are ideal when the tide's in but when it's going out or out then um, it does hinder your um, casting a little bit you can't get down because you're already if that makes sense but um, I had full skill there I'll put some gripper leads on again and I've got um, a couple baited up now waiting to go with gripper leads on as well the wind that I thought was dying off um, that didn't happen it's actually getting worse the wind is absolutely howling at us but um, the shell is doing its job is what it's for so um, we're enjoying ourselves we've had a little cooker on Amy's had uh, macaroni cheese and we've had a coffee I was uh, gonna put some sorry I've just put some fresh baits out and um, I've baited up a couple more ready to go so I've cleaned and washed all my hands and uh, Amy now wants bacon sandwiches. Oh God, if I know where she puts it all, I really don't know. So, uh, in a minute, I'm gonna do Amy a bacon sandwich. I'll turn you back on and show you. And I'll show you the, once I get the Ridge Monkey pan out, I'll show you why I think the Ridge Monkey burner is so much better than an ordinary one. But I'll show you that if I can. I'm going to fold you up and put you down behind the shelter again so you don't go bouncing down the shingle again. So, um, yeah, if, while I'm all clean and sorted, I'll, uh, I'll do a bit of cooking, I think. But like I say, as soon as when I'm set up and ready, I'll, uh, I'll turn you back on and show you what this Ridge Monkey burner is all about. And uh, they are expensive compared to the cheaper ones you can buy. Uh, the other, the one I've been using, I think I paid about 14, 15 pounds for it, something along them lines. Um, very cheap for what it is. Um, good. It's got three prongs on it, so it'll set a pan nicely, but nothing larger or the ridge monkey. I'll show you about when I get it out. They're big square pans with an handle and that tends to want to fall off. But the actual Ridge Monkey pan it's, uh, burner itself is square. So uh, it's ideal for the Ridge Monkey sandwich toasters and all that. But I'll just say, once I've got that set up, which won't take a couple of minutes, but I'll, uh, I'll switch it back on and uh, I'll show you frying up some bacon. Uh, the weather's nice, sun's out, it's not, it said it was supposed to be cloudy and overcast, cut, oh, not allowed. overcast, but there's not too much in the way of clouds out there at the moment, mainly blue skies. Uh, the beach just seems to be filling up with uh, families and dog walkers, so although that lot, the was to my left, was now gone. So, um, 
Yeah, so there's a lot of people around. There's still no one that I can see fishing either side of me for a long way. And I can see all the way down to Dill Pier from here. So yeah, I think we're the only nutcases here fishing. Well, I'm fishing. Amy's off enjoying herself, exploring and doing all sorts of bits. So um, I'm quite pleased she's happy at the moment. Sometimes she just sits here bored and wants to go home. But she's happy. She'd be even happier once she gets her bacon done. So I'll uh, I'll catch up with you a little bit. Right, so here we go. Bacon on the beach. On the new Ridge Monkey stove. Which has got this little thing. Which stops that tilting or falling off or whatever it is. Where that square and the Ridge Monkey pans are square. And my other one that used to do this and that and move around and I used to have to find something to wedge under here. Um, but square so it holds the pan nice. It's got that so if you, what you're cooking is not got any weight to it to hold it still. Um, that won't let it move around. And these are good because when one side's done you just flip it over and do the other side. So that's only just gone on, so we'll have a bacon sandwich. Amy will be happy. And um, then we'll carry on with the fishing. Rods are still out, but admittedly they have been a bit quiet. Which they normally are daylight fishing, which is why I prefer fishing at night. But So we've had one doggy, so with any luck, I'll be able to get a bit close to the water now and perhaps give it a bit more of a heave on, get out some deeper water and see what else we can find. Alright, so we'll have some breakfast and a coffee and uh, I'll get back to you in a little while. There we go, she's coming on nicely now. Don't take long, because when you close that down, it's just like putting it in an oven. Great little gadget. Won't be long. Amy likes it very well done, so she won't eat that. That'll have to be cooked some more. That. But nice bit of bacon sandwich on the beach while we look at our uh, statues out there trying to catch some fish. There's a humongous spider about that big on the wall. I might not quickly, quickly out of the way and ran out. There's a humongous spider on that wall. Go that way.
Here we have Amy rolling down the hill because she is absolutely crazy. And on the other hand, we have our statues here. On the left, we have a Tuuk. A Tuuk flapper, one up, one down, with black lug tipped with squid. And on the right, we have a straightforward pulley panel rig with squid and mussels on so uh, not had a great deal of luck since the last dogfish we had we have a fella up the beach just joined us now he uh, he come and asked me what have you had? I said a dogfish. She said, well, as expected then. She said, I don't expect to get anything else. But um, we're all hopeful. Anything can happen. That's a line from a song, but don't worry, I'm not going to start singing to you. But yeah, it's been a bit slow. We've had a good day though at the moment. Amy's happy. She's had, had three Greg sausage rolls, um, which was a bit of a, which was a bonus for me because she decided she didn't want a bacon sandwich, so I had that. So um, yeah, we've had a bit of a cook up and uh, made another coffee, and uh, the wind is still howling. Though it's incredibly windy. But unfortunately, there's uh, not a great deal of happening. Hap not a great deal happening with the rods at the moment. But here's hoping all that's going to change. Um, not sure what low tide is today. I'll uh, I'll have a look in a minute. It's about it's 
about half twelve now, I think. High tide at half eight. Nine of ten of them is twelve of one of two. I'm guessing it'll be half two, three o'clock is low tide. Um, we're in no rush. And his mum's on, he's working all day till ten o'clock tonight. So we're in no rush to go home. I didn't bring any night stuff with me, none of my lights or anything. But uh, I think Amy will be bored long before sunset. That's probably about half four, five o'clock, I'd imagine. So another five hours, I think we'll be gone by then. But it um, means we might catch the turn of the tide, so with any luck, our luck will change. The um, one up, one down flapper has got a non-grip lead on it at the moment because they seem to be standing where they lie at the moment so hopefully that'll just move around on the bottom a little bit which is how I prefer to fish give it a bit of freedom to move around the bottom the loony, loony down there is still rolling around pebbles are dry on top but an inch underneath is soaking wet, so she's now wet. In that case, but at least she's happy. So, uh, yeah, not a great deal to um, go on at the moment. But it's nice to be out during the day, it's nice to be out with Amy. Night fishing. Um, Although I prefer it, it does tend to be a bit more productive. The last couple of trips have been pretty dead. But uh, yeah, it's nice to be out in the daylight so you can see what you're doing without having to turn night lights on and torches on and all manner of stuff. And, uh, there's a lot of people still walking around. But, um, yeah, not too many people, no one's being a pain, apart from Amy. Boy, what's my so, um, I'll update you shortly.
little white and we've got to get them back. Well, Amy's had her mac and cheese for lunch and um, I'm going to have a bit more tomato soup today we've got some buttered tiger bread, lovely jubbly cooking up the little pan So we had a couple more white in, but it's gone very quiet again. There's fresh baits out there at the moment, but unfortunately, um, the rods don't seem to want to play much again this afternoon. So while it's having a slack period, I thought we'd have a bit of lunch. I did get some Greg sausage rolls. But Amy's um, polished off all of them today, so a nice hot bit of tomato soup. Can't whack it. That'll be done in a minute. <clears throat> so lunch time. Amy's still not wet enough so she's rolling around she's going to be absolutely soaked freezing cold and miserable in a little while dozy little moo bag <laughs> not all there we've had uh, we've got another fella i think i showed you earlier what was that stuck again Having a fish down there. He's been a bit unlucky, hasn't had anything yet. Admittedly, when I see the uh, two white and come in, as I reeled them in, uh, I couldn't see that there was two. I really wasn't sure what it was. And they seemed to be glowing blue in the sunshine. I didn't have a clue what they was to begin with. Admittedly, I've not got my glasses on. But, um, yeah, but when I did see them cut of white in, as we all know, once you get a cut of white in like that, um, there's normally loads more to follow, but that seems to be just it. Pedal, pedal rig. Whoa. Whoa, if you can hear that, that's the shelter going. That wind is getting 
really, really heavy. Might have to shovel some more stones on this shelter. Um, but yeah, expected once we had them whitened to, uh, here we go, start plenty of whiting coming in, but those are the only two we've had, so I don't know what happened there. Two strays, I think. Yeah, I think I'll grab my little uh, shingle shovel and put some more um, shingle on this shelter. There's uh, plenty on it already, but that wind is absolutely howling. It's blowing everything about. And I'm sure you can hear the shelter banging about behind me. So, uh, right, I'll leave you now. This fella's out again, by the looks of it. Freshening up his baits. Go on, fella, out you go. There we go. Oh, okay. Fishing very close. Um, right, so I'll, uh, I'll leave you for now. And uh, I'll update you in a little bit. Jamie. <laughs> I have to part with. I think next week I'll be fishing on nights again. Oh, well, afternoon all. Final farewell from me. It's, uh, it's now just gone up past three. The sun apparently is going down about half past four. Uh, low tide's not to half past five. I was hoping to, it was going to stay late for me to see the tide come in, in a little bit, but nope. It's uh, Gotten quite cloudy, some of the clouds over there are pretty dark and dreary. So I don't think we've got too much sunlight left. So uh haven't had any other luck. We had the um, dogfish early doors and a couple of white in this afternoon. Guy next to me has had a couple of white in as well, I think. So it's not been a complete loss. We've had um, plenty of grub today. Amy is at her own body weight in food, but she's happy enough, so that was the reason for coming, just to keep her happy, really. Um, but like I say, yeah, we've had some fish, so no blank today. And uh, yeah, if you got this far, thanks very much indeed for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. predict where I'm going next week because every time I do it never happens that way I'll uh, check the wind later on in the week and uh, decide from there so just a little a little bite then there's a lot of um, a lot of baby seagulls around at the moment I've had to keep my eye on them this afternoon. I've had a few of them fly pretty close to the lines. But um, yeah, so uh, again, yeah, thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you all again soon.